goes. How are you today? I am fine too. Welcome to today's lesson on computer science. And our topic for today's lesson is system unit. That's the components inside the system unit. This week, we'll be talking about the components inside the system unit. But before we do that, let's see our aim and objectives. At the end of the lesson, we are expecting the pupils to be able to list the internal parts of the system unit. Two, to identify the internal parts of the system unit. Let's see what system unit is all about. System unit works on data and changes it into useful information. When it is changing data into useful information, we say it is processing data. At times, the system unit is called the Central Processing Unit, CPU. That is because it processes data. Such processing includes storing or keeping data in memory, doing additions, subtractions, and comparing things. It works just like our brains. That is why it is also called the brain of the computer. Now let's see the internal parts of the system unit. The internal parts of the system units are the motherboard, the CMOS battery, the power pack, CD or DVD ROM, the memory, processor, hard disk drive, inbuilt speaker, the fan. I'm going to see the diagram of how system units looks like. You can see the diagram on the board in which the parts are not being labeled. Some have been labeled for you. The inside of system units all the parts are there, but the labeling is not there. But we are going to look at that. You can see the hard disk drive where the direction shows, the motherboard, then the connections, power supply and fan. And we also see fan inside there. Let's see how we can identify these parts of the system unit. The identifications of components inside the system unit. One, you see the motherboard. The motherboard controls all the components. Every part inside the system unit, the motherboard helps to control. Next is the battery. I the CMOS battery. The CMOS battery helps to control date and time of the computer. That is why at times when you on your system, you see that the date that was there is still correct. And the time has not changed. That is how the CMOS battery looks like. Next is power pack. Power pack helps to supply electric current to all other parts. Without this, the system unit will not work because these parts of the system unit helps to supply electric current to all other parts. Let's see the next, which is CD or DVD ROM. You can see the DVD there and the ROM that the hand is dragging it out. The CD or DVD ROM, it is a place where we insert the CD plate. 
you have DVD in your houses that is the video player this can be used in helping it to insert it in the DVD ROM let's see the memory the memory helps to store information everything typed into the system the place or the parts of the computer the system unit helps to store information and, and it stores it forever except you delete it when you type in something go back you will still see it where it is being stored is called the memory it takes us to the processor the work of a processor is it helps to process the user's command processor helps to process the user's command we have the hard disk drive hard disk drive is permanent storage it is a place that when once we store information it cannot be deleted you can see on the diagram shown the first diagram by the left hand side it is when the hard disk drive is covered the second one is when it is open this is how it looks like next is a fan that cools a processor you know there is no place that you go where there is no air it becomes hot so this fan helps to cool the processor it helps fan the system unit so that when it is heated it helps to reduce the heat in it all right it takes us to a summary. We have learned about components, the internal parts of the system unit. We have learned that the system unit is a computer casing that contains the central processing unit. Remember, you cannot see the internal parts of the system unit when it is covered you can only see them when it is open and we have learned parts of the system unit which we mention as the motherboard the processor hard disk drive power pack the cd or dvd rom the memory the inbuilt speaker and we also identify them and I hope I believe that you when once you see this part anywhere you will be able to identify them it takes us to our homework name the following name the following the picture first on your left hand side you name what is this part called the one in the middle, you give me the name to it, and the last one. Remember, you have to do your homework. See you next time in our next class on components outside the system unit. That is an external part. Until we meet again, stay safe, and God bless you. Bye.